My name is Patrick Grove and I'm the group CEO of an investment company called Catcher Group and I'm also the co-founder and chairman of a dynamic internet startup called iFlix. Our aim is to start a new disruptive internet company kind of every 12 to 18 months. So we've started about seven companies in the last 10 years and we, you know we're, we're almost like a like a property developer or a film studio, but instead of building buildings or making movies, we, we make, build, launch, and finance internet companies. You know, my parents didn't want me to be an entrepreneur. They wanted me either to be a banker, doctor, or a lawyer. Um, you know, it was, it's today to say you're a tech entrepreneur in the world is, is quite a cool thing. And, it, it's, and it's a thing that friends give you a pat on the back and investors they give you money. But when we first started, 20 years ago, it wasn't a cool thing at all. It, it, it'd almost be the equivalent of saying, hey, I'd like to be an unemployed bum with no future, no salary. It, it, was, it was lit, that was literally the conversation that you were having with people. And, um, but, but look, we, we've overcome that and, and, and being an internet entrepreneur is now considered, I guess, quite a cool thing. If you really, really believe in something, you just gotta keep going and keep going. And even when it doesn't work, you know, change your plan a little bit and keep going, keep going. And every time you, you get a no from someone, you know, don't don't consider that as a no equals never. No just means not today. Maybe the maybe no today is yes tomorrow. And and just persevere. And I'll give you a live example of that is when we raised money for a company called iFlix, which is the company that I co-founded I'm associated with, you know, we we counted, we we got about 120 no's from investors before we finally got someone to say yes. And, you know, every time we got a no, it wasn't a setback. It was almost like a badge of honor. It almost meant, you know what? We're so much closer to finally getting a yes from someone. Whereas I think a lot of other entrepreneurs, you know, kind of give up after 10 meetings or 20 meetings. And it's just, just have that perseverance. If you really believe in what you're building and, and that the market wants it, just keep persevering until you finally get someone to say yes. I would, number one, I would say never be afraid to fail and make mistakes because that's that's where you learn. Uh, and and I, I mean, I guess the closing piece of that advice I would give is to persevere. Just keep going and, and keep at it. And you know, no one can tell you what product you should have or what market you should focus on, but, but everyone can say that if you study every successful entrepreneur, you'll see at some point in their career, you know, they've needed to do something that no one else believed in. They needed to do something when everyone else would have given up. Given up. And it's, it's that sheer perseverance that just keeps them going and going until they get to the other side where, where they actually achieve something. Mm -hmm.